<laughs> Want role plays without the ads? Right now on Patreon for just $3 a month, you'll get early access to my role plays, as well as the chance to vote on which role plays I make for the week. Or for $5 a month, you'll get all of that plus an exclusive girlfriend role play series episode each week. If you'd rather stay close to home, check out my YouTube memberships, where for only $3 a month, you'll get early access to my role plays, as well as an adorable badge next to your name and custom emojis to use whenever you comment. And don't forget to head over to Teespring to get your Fixie Voice merch today. Links are in the description. The following roleplay is rated T, appropriate for ages 13 and older. It is a really lovely evening. You know, I'm surprised you wanted to walk through the forest paths with me. I mean, you know there's a full moon tonight. Well, yeah, I know about your transformations, and I know about your pack. It's never been an issue with me. I know you're feeling anxious that I'm going to be so petrified with fear that I'm going to leave you, but it's never going to be the case. You haven't attacked me once, and if anything, you've been nothing but forthcoming with me. I'm not scared. I'm only scared of losing you because, well, you know, I'm not one of your pack. I care so much about you, and I just want to make sure you're happy. I know this isn't something you have any control over, so if I can help make this process easier for you, then I want to do whatever I can. You mean the world to me, and you've always been nothing but amazing with me. It's really hard not to love you as much as I do. Are you sure it's okay for us to be out here? It is a new area for us, and I don't want to get anybody in trouble, you know? I mean, if you say so, sweetheart, I know your pack travels out to this part of the woods. I just want to be as safe as possible. I always get anxious when we're out here, because I really, I really hate that you could be put into danger because of me. I love you too, and I just want you to be safe too. Ooh, is it that time already? I know it hurts, sweetheart. You're almost there. There you go. How are you feeling? It gets easier each time? Well, I'm glad. I'm sure eventually it's going to sound worse than it actually is. And I know that we have to find some sort of flower for the solstice coming up. The pack leader mentioned to me that it would smell like cherries to regulars like me, as he put it. You know, I think it's better than what he originally called me. Trust me, it's an improvement. I'm glad your pack is starting to warm up to the idea of me being around. I don't want to see them hurt because you're part of that family. They take care of you, and I just want to help make sure people aren't interfering with you and your pack. I want them to know that I'm here to help. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this part of the path. I really hope we're in the right part of the forest. I know we're looking for a lot of moonlight because it's when the flower opens up and emits the smell. Yeah, thanks for bringing up the true crime podcast we've been listening to about unsolved cases. Love that thought as I'm wandering the woods with my regular eyes and lame flashlight. Whoa. Look at this massive field of flowers. <sighs> the one we're looking for has got to be in there. But it looks like we're going to have to be really careful as to which one we pick. It's not this one. This one smells like grass. Because it is grass. Okay. How about these? Ouch! Oh, it's a rose bush. Ah. Yeah, it's okay. It was just a thorn stuck in my finger. Oof. Yeah. I'm definitely bleeding. But I've got a band-aid in my bag. Do you smell the blood? Are you feeling okay? 
Okay, good. Do you think that anyone else could smell it too? You're right. You're right. The flowers are definitely muddling the scent. But if you're able to pick it out... Shit. Okay, we've got to find that flower and go. No, not this one. Not this one. Not that. Not that. No, no, no. Here! Here! This one! This one for sure smells like cherries. Okay, let me grab a bunch so we can bolt out of here before someone shows up. Okay, let's go. Come on. You're going to have to leave the way because I can't see a thing. The pollen from these flowers is starting to make my eyes water and it's really hard to see and smell anything. We must have stumbled into a neighboring Pax territory. I knew this place didn't look familiar for a reason. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. I should have been more careful. Now this tiny cunt is going to get us on a true crime podcast. <gasps> Are they... Pack member? Oh no. Can you talk to them? They're fair off. Oh no, please no. I don't want you to get hurt. How are we going to get out of this? There's more coming this way. We're going to have to run. No, I'm not putting you in harm's way. Run! They're right behind us. And there's still more coming. growls anymore. There's something approaching. How many of them? Bigger than a pack? Oh no. I'm not gonna put you in harm's way. If something happens, I want you to promise me that you'll run. If you manage to survive, then it'll be worth it knowing that you're safe. Promise me. Please, no. What's happening? Why aren't they attacking? They're saying that they know we're part of the neighboring pack? Even me? He said yes, we know about the regular. You know, still an improvement. Oh, okay. They're saying that they protected us once, but that it wouldn't happen again. Yeah, I get it. Follow this path, and we'll be led out of the forest and back onto the main highway. Thank you. Thank you. I know me being here is a gray area, but I swear. I swear. Your pack is safe. I'm not a hunter. I don't want to harm any of you. I love my partner. I just want to make sure they're safe. you. Okay. Note to self. You and another pack member will be doing this again next year. But, if I'm able to plant this flower and make more of them, then your pack won't need to travel into the other territories to get it anymore. I promise I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you never have to face something like that again. I love you too. Thank you for always protecting me. Let's go home so you can change back into warm environment. I love you too. And I'm glad that you're safe. Let's go. <laughs> 